Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this phone case DIY Halloween edition. For this one, we're going to be working with a phone case. I'm using this one that is plastic acrylic. It's plastic, but it's flexible, but it's transparent. A lot of people ask me if they have to use transparent. Now, this is kind of like personal preference. I prefer to work with transparent, but if you have one that is colored or you can get a black one. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint mine with black acrylic paint. I would highly suggest to work with the best quality that you can find. But yeah, I'm going to be covering the whole thing with my paint and my brush. Once it's dry, I'm going to be taking a pen i'm going to actually be taking the back part of it because that is going to be like my dotting tool i'm just going to use my white acrylic paint and paint random dots all over the place first i was kind of like following a pattern but i thought it was going to be like cuter to just have random dots all over the place and this is what i did i kept on adding a lot of uh, dots so once it's done, I'm going to be taking my toothpick and I'm just going to add what's going to make this dots tiny ghosts. So I'm just going to go with my toothpick and I'm just going to draw like, I don't know, three picks or three, three things. So I'm just going to go and keep on, you know, adding that part and all of my dots. And since we're working with a black base and white over it, you're going to have to give your ghosts a few coats if you want your white to be vibrant. Keep in mind that it's okay if you shake or if you don't make all your ghosts even because the more random your bottom parts look, they're going to look cuter. Just add some more character to the whole thing instead of just having all of them like the same, looking the same. And once that's right, I'm going to go with my toothpick and I'm just going to add two dots on the top part of my ghosts. And these are supposed to be like the eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint that. In some cases, I'm just going to change the angle. I'm going to be placing my dots a bit to the right. And in some other cases, I'm going to be applying them a little bit to the left. So you just have to be random in your position. I think this adds a lot more character rather than just having all your ghosts looking at you directly, if that makes sense. I actually got inspired inspired to create this phone case like this idea online i'm going to link it below which is going to be on my blog but i just went ahead and added some mouths to some of my ghosts because it was cute as it was but i just wanted to go ahead and try adding something else so i just just picking out my dotting tool which i do have a diy of this one if you want to check it out it's super simple to make it's pretty much up to you and what you want finally i'm just going to be adding my final touch which is adding this crystal clear acrylic coating i'm just trying this one i just bought it and I'm pretty excited about it. I've heard so many things about this one. So I'm just going to use some gloves and spray on my phone case. A lot of people ask me if they have to do this step, like adding this finish. I prefer to do that because I actually use my phone cases on a daily basis. And I feel like this protects my design from like, you know, usage and stuff like that. Plus it adds some shine and it makes your phone case a bit more professional and a bit more put together. I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try. It's super fun and easy to make. I like having phone cases cases decorated every month so if you want more ideas from me just go ahead and subscribe don't forget to like this video don't forget to share it but yeah this is pretty much the idea that i wanted to share thank you so much for watching happy halloween and i'll talk to you later bye guys